Hello, my name's Peter DiMarzo. I'm the National Vice President of the Backflow Prevention Association of Australia. We're here with Watts to show you the testing procedure of a RPZD. The testing procedure for an RPZD is outlined in Australian standards as ASNZS 2845.3-2020. This standard comes into, into operation on the 1st of May 2023. Whether you use a digital or a mechanical test kit, the procedure is exactly the same. Today we've chosen to use a mechanical test kit. Sometimes this type of test kit is referred to as an analogue test kit. To understand the testing procedure, let's look firstly at a typical test kit. The test kit itself is made up of five major parts. You have the differential pressure gauge. You have the test kit valves known as A, B and C. And you have three hoses, the high pressure hose, the low pressure hose and the vent hose. Next, we'll look at the RPZ assembly itself. The assembly is made up of an upstream isolation valve, a Y strainer, the RPZ backflow prevention device itself, and the downstream isolation valve. On this assembly, in line with Australian Standards 3500.1 section 4.61 part J, provision must also must be made for removal and replacement of the prevention device. So we would include unions on smaller devices and bolted flanges on larger devices. Looking at the assembly, we have three test taps, known as test tap one, test tap two, test tap three. The upstream isolation valve is known as number four, and the downstream isolation valve is known as number five. The relief port is known as number six, and of course we have the wash strainer. With this information, we have one last thing to understand before we can do the testing. The minimum distance from the bottom of the relief port to the finished ground level is 300 millimetres. Now that we understand this information, we can begin our testing of the RPZD. After notifying the property occupants, check to see that the upstream isolation valve is turned on and the downstream isolation valve is turned off. Open and then close each test tap this removes any rubbish, any debris that might be in the system. Next check that the test kit valve A is open, B is closed and C is closed. We now want to test the upstream and downstream isolation valves to ensure that they are closing tight. Connect the high pressure hose to test tap number three and open. Open the test valve taps B and C and vent water through the vent hose. This eliminates any air from the test kit. Next, close test kit valve B and C. Now, close the upstream isolation valve. You will see the needle on the differential gauge has come to a high reading. Slowly open test kit valve B so the needle drops by a visible amount. Looking at the differential gauge, Observe the needle. If the needle is rising, falling or remaining static. Should the needle be rising, this will indicate that the upstream or downstream isolation valves are leaking. To determine which one is leaking, we would open test tap number one. If there is continuous flow of water from test tap number one, then the upstream isolation valve is leaking. If the needle of the gauge is dropping, this indicates that the downstream isolation valve is leaking. Of course, if the needle remains static and does not move, then both the upstream and the downstream valves are not leaking. If the downstream isolation valve is leaking, then the leaking isolation valve shall be repaired or replaced. If the upstream isolation valve is leaking, then the leaking isolation valve should be replaced or repaired. Now we move on to the next step. This is the cleaning of the wash strainer. 
So we need to undo the wash drainer and remove the filter. As you see, there was some rubbish in there that had to be removed and cleaned. With that cleaned, we can now go on to do the actual testing. Restore the water to the device. High pressure hose onto test tap number one. Low pressure hose onto test tap number two. Open test taps number one and two. Open test taps A and C and bleed water through the vent hose. Close test tap A. Now open test tap B and bleed water through the vent hose. Slowly close test kit valve B and record the reading of the differential pressure gauge. This must be above 35 kPa. If it is not, then the first check has failed and it must be repaired or replaced. Now we want to test the relief valve. Close test kit valve C and open test kit valve A. Slowly open test kit valve B and observe the differential port. We want water coming out of that greater than 14 kPa. It's coming out at 20 kPa, so it has passed the testing procedure. If it falls below 14 kPa, it shows that the relief mechanism is faulty and it must be repaired or replaced. Now close test, test taps one and two and open test valve test kit valve C, close A and B. We now need to test the tightness of the second check valve. Move the low pressure hose from test tap number two to test tap number three. Open test taps numbers one and three. Slowly open test kit valve A and bleed water through the vent hose. Close test kit tap A. Slowly open test kit valve B and bleed water through the vent hose. Slowly close test kit valve C and open A. Observe the relief port to see if there is a discharge. If there is a continual discharge of water, this is indicating that the downstream check valve is faulty and needs to be repaired or replaced. We're now going to check the tightness of the number two check valve. Close test kit valve number one Move the high pressure hose from test tap one and connect it to test tap number two. Open test taps number two and three. Slowly open test kit valve A and vent water through the vent hose. Close test tap A. Now slowly open test kit valve B and slowly vent water through the vent hose. Close test tap valve B and record the reading on the differential pressure gauge. If the reading is below 7 kPa, then the second check has failed and shall be shall deemed to be faulty. The number two check valve shall either be replaced or repaired. Once we've done that, we can turn the test taps off, remembering to turn the downstream isolation valve back on. This restores 